Greetings, math friends. We are going to look at doing arithmetic with complex numbers. I want to kind of keep some consistency with the numbers that I use for illustrative purposes, uh, and then check the end of the video for some exercises that you can try on your own to test your uh, abilities. So let's start with 2 plus 3i. And then we're going to add 5 plus 7i. Addition is the uh, easiest thing that you can do with complex numbers. We want to look at like terms. So the 2 and the 5 here, there's nothing attached to them. We're going to add those together to get 7. And then the 3 and the 7 have an i attached to them. We're going to add those together. So. This is going to be our sum. So for this, we're just doing like terms. So just like in Algebra 1. The next thing that we are going to do is uh, subtraction. It's just slightly more difficult. So I'm using the same two complex numbers, but I'm going to subtract this time. So I have, again, I'm going to look at like terms. So I want 2 minus 5, that's negative 3. And then I have 3 minus 7, that is going to be negative 4i. So this is our difference. So again, uh, we want to look at like terms. But we also kind of have this distributive idea here. This is equivalent to saying 2 plus 3i minus 5 minus 7i. So this and this are the same thing. We kind of have this distributive idea of the negative across there. So that's what makes the subtraction just slightly more difficult. Next, we're going to multiply, and for this, we're going to use the double distribution. So first, we want to multiply the 2 across each of these. 2 times 5 is 10, and 2 times 7 is 14. We carry that i with us. And then we're going to multiply the 3i by each of those. 3 times 5 is 15. We bring the i with us. 3 times 7 is 21. And we have two i's this time, so we're multiplying. That's i squared. Now, when we look at this, we have two like terms in the middle. We're going to bring those together. And then lastly, we need to address i squared. If you remember what the definition of i is, this is defined as the square root of negative 1. If I square this and I square this, then I get that i squared is negative 1 because these are inverse operations. So we need to change this. So this is 10 plus 29i minus 21, because this is negative 1 times 21, which gives us the negative 21. Now that we've done this, we have two like terms. These are just real portions. So our final product is negative 11 plus 29i. So there's a lot more involved with the multiplication, but a lot of it is looking at what we can simplify. And then the last one is division, and that is the most difficult to approach. All right, lastly, we have division. I'm going to rewrite this as a fraction. That's best uh, to approach it like that. So we want 2 plus 3i divided by 5 plus 7i. And we really don't have a, a conceptualization in our minds about what it means to divide by a complex number. 
but we can eliminate that by using the complex conjugate. And what that is, is I take this and I just switch the middle sign. So if it's addition, I make it subtraction. If it's subtraction, I make it addition. And that's the only change that I make. And I'm going to multiply that top and bottom. I, just like with the real numbers, multiplying top and bottom, that's the equivalent to multiplying by one. So I don't change uh, the magnitude of the fraction. I just change the form. So now I'm going to do my double distribution on the top and the bottom here. Once we've simplified this out, we have the fraction 31 plus i divided by 74. The complex conjugate should always work out to give you a real number in the denominator. And then from here, we are just going to split this into the standard form for a complex number. So it's 31 divided by 74. That's our real part, plus i divided by 74, or 1 74th i. And this is our quotient. So the extra step in the division part is doing the complex conjugate. Then we have the simplification that we go through and make sure that we have it in the final standard form for a complex number. Go ahead and try these problems that follow cheerful calculations.